In this video, we are going to look at the nature of roots, combination of a straight line and a curve. You will find this on page 29 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The nature of the roots, a combination of a straight line and a curve. When you have a straight line and a curve, you can solve the equation of the straight line and the curve simultaneously, like I showed you in the previous video, and form a quadratic equation. This. The discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, will then give information about the number of points of intersection. So after you form this one equation, you work out the discriminant, and that will tell you how, many, how it will intersect. So, let's look if it intersects at one point. If the discriminant is equal to zero, then it will just be a tangent. So, the line is tangent to the curve. It intersects at one point. If the discriminant is bigger than zero, the line intersects the curve at two distinct points, two different points. And if the discriminant is smaller than zero, the line and the curve do not intersect, like in this case. Okay. Now, Let's look. Let's go further. Let's look at this example. Find the value of the constant k for which the line uh, is a tangent. So now I'm telling you it's a tangent. So you can you, you then know that the discriminant will be zero after you substitute the one into the other equation. So form a quadratic equation by substituting the straight line equation into the equation of the curve. Okay, so I'm basically just substitute this one in there. Did you see that? Then I simplify. Okay, now I write it in general form. That means all the x squared, then the x, then the without an x. Now, because I'm telling you it's a tangent, the discriminant is equal to zero. Now I substitute that. And don't forget, this is a, this is b, and this is c. And I substitute it in, and then I work it out, and then I get my unknown. Okay, so that's a way where I'm telling you what is the discriminant to find an unknown value. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I think you can just do number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just make it smaller, that there's space to write. Okay, let's start. Find the value of the constant k for which the line, okay, and what is the line? It's number one. It's y equals kx plus 6 is a tangent to the curve. And what is the curve? y equals x squared plus 3x. Oh, sorry. Plus 3x plus 2k. So this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So I substitute 1 into 2. So substitute equation 1 into equation 2. Okay, so basically because it's y, it's actually very easy. I'm just taking this and I throw it in there. And what do I get? I get kx plus 6 equals x squared plus 3x plus 2k. Okay. Now I take its quadratic, everything to one side. Okay, I, I didn't rearrange it, I could. Okay, it's first just taking that over. Now I will rearrange it. Okay, so let's just check. There's an x squared, there's an x, and there's an x. And there is without x, without x. So let's just, um, I'm going to say this is going to be x squared plus a bracket, 3 minus kx plus 2k minus 6. So don't forget that this is a, this is b, 
and this is C. Okay. Now, because I'm telling you it's a tangent, now you will know that the discriminant will be equal to zero of this combined equation. So, discriminant is B squared minus 4AC, and that's equal to zero. So, in the place of B squared, it's 3 minus K squared minus 4AC Okay, so if I, if, I, if I work out this, so this is 3 times 3, it's 9 minus 6k plus k squared. Uh, this is minus 8k plus 24 is equal to 0. So, okay, this is my k squared. So, k squared, this is minus, oh, minus, so it's going to be minus 14k. And this is going to be plus, um, this is going to be 33. And that's going to be equal to zero. Okay. Now, I'm just going to factorize it. Let's just move it up a little bit. And if I factorize, so it's 3 times 11, 1 and 1. So 11, this is group A, 11 plus 3 is 14. Can you see how important is factorization of quadratic equations? So if you still struggle with it, go back to ordinary level videos and first conquer it. We really use it in A's level a lot of times and in a lot of chapters. Okay, so basically I'm just going to have, okay, the signs are the same, same as this one, and then it's going to be k minus 3, k minus 11 equals 0. So therefore, k is equal to 3 or k is equal to 11. And that, um, what did they find? The values, so there's two values, k is 3 or k is 11. And that's how you do it.